you guys, Beth Mutati here with two different looks because I'm going to show you how to do both of them in this tutorial. Um, I kind of asked and I was like, hey, do you guys want to see two different looks, uh, same colors? And uh, only one person answered me. It was Tara. And she said yes. So here we are. <laughs> um, we're going to ignore the fact today that my eyebrows don't match. I talk about it later in the video, too. You know, so whatever. <laughs> my eyebrows don't have to match. Alright, so hopefully you guys at le like at least one of these look and would like to try one of them. Obviously, this one's more wearable and this is much, much more dramatic. So, um, it's up to you if you want to try one. You, of course, can just watch me and tell me I look like a crazy person. So, that's always welcome too. Let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so far I already have on my face makeup. Most of my face makeup. Um, and I have on a primer. I have on the... Benefits stay don't stray because I still have that sample I'm trying to use up and I'm going to put on the milk. Um, so I had two different ideas for this look and I asked what you guys wanted me to do. Um, you know, do you want me to do both looks? Each one on a separate eye? What do you want me to do? So it was decided that I would do both looks, one on each eye, which is going to be funny, but I'm down for it. Whatever I can do for you guys, I'm down for. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit different. This is going to continue in the whole April flowers thing. i um, guessing this is probably going to be the last one I get done in the month of April. So I'll have to think of some clever new theme for July. Or May. Got ahead of myself there. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet though. So um, Yes, my eyebrows are a tid bit uneven today. But don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that. Alright, so I'm just going to blend all this out and then we'll come back and start with some color. Okay, so the first look we're going to do is going to be on this eye. And it's going to be a little more wearable. It's going to make a little more sense. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take birthday suit and put a touch of birthday suit below the brow using the brush we always use for this. I probably should have gotten my brush out and been prepared, huh? So this one, you don't have to use a brush this size. This is just the one I always use so I know there's no shimmer in here. And we're just going to pack this on just below the brow. This is because we want our next color to blend into this. So, uh, that's it for good old birthday suit. <laughs> you might need to touch it up later, but we'll see when we get there. Um, then we are going to take a color called Painted Roses. It's um, a red-toned pink. It's really, really pretty. And I don't have enough in here. Um, this was actually in the Alice in Wonderland collection. I don't think that's what it was called. Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts collection. And for this, we are going to use the brush I used for it yesterday. This guy. And we are going to take this, putting it most heavily where we want it to be in the crease here coming up to the brow. Obviously, you want it to be lighter and then get a little bit darker and more concentrated in the crease. So it should nicely kind of just, okay, real cool. Should just kind of fade out up there. Okay, so that is it for Painted Roses. Then we are going to take a color called Ruby. Ruby. This one is from the um, Dark Crystal Collection, which I actually just watched that movie the other day, and I was super excited. Um, I love that movie. So we're just going to use an eyeshadow, eye, this brush from e.l.f. And this is pretty much just going to pick up where that one left off. And we're going to go ahead and put this all over the lid. Coming up into the crease. Okay, then we're going to pick this brush back up again that has the painted roses. And blend here where the two colors come together. So the reason we're working backwards is like this is you can really control how big your look is by working backwards. Um, it just makes things easier. So we have that now. To me this is wearable. That may be a little big for you guys, but to me that's wearable. Then again my eyebrows are pretty big too. They're not even today. You like that? That's really bad. <laughs> it's the first time I've drawn them on like this in a really long time because I was experimenting with letting them grow back in. No. It was at the request of some of my coworkers, so I said, alright, I'll try it, whatever. No, not a fan. John and I both decided that I look ridiculous with natural brows. And then the last color we're going to use is called Off With Their Heads. It's from also from the um, 
Queen of Hearts collection. We're going to use a pencil brush. And this is just going to stay really close to the lash line. Now if you wanted something a little more fun, you could wet this with a little bit of eye seal or use a liner brush and use it wet and create a liner. I'm just kind of using it close to the lash line. And then a bit up into the crease, but be careful in the crease. You're going to have to blend because it is pretty dark. Go ahead and take your brush like that again. And then, just to kind of brighten up your inner corner, I'm going to touch blend that with my fingers. You can always blend with your fingers, like you don't have to use a brush. Um, it's typically going to be faster with a brush though. Then using this itty bitty guy, we're going to grab the couple, couple, the couple, the color Giggleberry. Um, it was just in the Easter grab bags. If you don't have Giggleberry, um, use Winter Rose. If you don't have Winter Rose, why not? Go buy it. <laughs> Um, it's just a really soft baby pink. Really, really soft. So this is just going to go in the inner corner. And you guys can see that automatically got so much brighter. Um, and then, just for the sake of continuity, we're going to grab that uh, brush that already has birthday suit in it. And just kind of run it over the top of painted roses and actually I'm going to blend this guy a little better again obviously you're welcome to do this with a clean blending brush too so that's it for the top then for the bottom color got this cute little morning dew color this is a beautiful color um, remember that we did put that white color below the eyes as well crap I got my brush dirty uh-oh, gotta find a brush to use. Will you work? You have green on you. So we're gonna use this guy. Uh, you gotta be really careful though. We're just gonna dip the tip in this. This is not my first choice of a brush to use. Because we're gonna keep this super close to the lash line. Alright, so... Super wearable right now. You can use black liner to make it a little bit darker. You could use, you know, just about any color you wanted. We're going to put cool green on the lower waterline. And then once that is on there, we're going to go ahead and set it with just a touch of the morning dew. And then for the top, um, you could do pretty much whatever you want with liner. Um, I'm going to just tight line a tiny little bit. I don't want to do too much. I'm just going to take Makeup Forever's Aqua Liner in 0L and tight line. So, just a little bit of tight lining. You are always welcome to add more. If that's not enough for you, go for it. Add a little more. I don't care what you do. It's up to you. I don't know what's wearable for you guys. I'm trying to keep it super wearable um, for everyone. So, then we are just going to curl the lashes and add mascara, and that eye will be done. So that is that eye's finished look. The other eye, we're going to have a little more fun. Okay, starting off with this guy to map out what you're doing. Because this one's going to have a lot more green in it and then red. Which is going to look crazy because green and red are opposite on the color wheel. So it's going to be like, BAM! That's why this looks so BAM! But this is they're going to be right next to each other. So, we're going to take this guy again. And with the eye open, looking straight forward, 
we're going to etch out. That's uh, pretty high. Let's not do that. Now, because I already have that white on, it's kind of grabbing onto the pigment a lot. Or onto the pencil. Um, that's okay. So, I'm going to do some green from there up. Using that same brush, it's going to give me enough control. And then we are going to take birthday suit, good old birthday suit, on a big old jumbo brush. Take just a touch of it, you don't need a ton. And blend down from that brow bone. You could use a white here too. Um, it would make it pop a little more if you used a white, but I don't like, I really just don't like using white on my brow bone. Um, then we are going to take ruby. We're going to skip painted roses for now. Press this all over the lid. And again, that line is coming up. And I'm making a giant mess. Great. The idea is to not blend the two colors together, but I'm an idiot and using a fluffy brush. Very dramatic. I'm going to put a touch of that in the inner corner. Then we're going to take painted roses using the tip of the brush only. Just the tip. Blend it into the bottom here. And then the sloppy crease doesn't matter because now we're going to take off with their heads on our pencil brush. And you're going to pack it in that brush really well and tap off your extra. Very dramatic. Okay, so we are going to use this lovely guy to line our top waterline. And then for the bottom, we're going to take that makeup forever. Very dramatic right now. You like that? This is more dramatic than what I usually do for you guys, surprisingly. And as long as our top liner is dry, we're gonna do our and we're gonna go ahead and tight line the top too. Make sure we have no gaps. And I'm just gonna put on mascara. Finito. Um, I don't have anything on my cheeks right now. I think this one's more fun, but this one's more wearable. So, you pick what you like. Um, for the cheeks, I'm just going to use actually a little bit of Painted Roses on my regular old blush brush. There you go. Um, I honestly have no idea what I want to do for the lips. Obviously you guys know I like funky stuff so I'd probably throw on a black lipstick with this but um, for the sake of it being wearable, let's just use something like 
And we're gonna see how this looks with this. <laughs> this is the Lancome color. It's Rouge and Love number 353. I don't know what the actual color is, so. We're just gonna see how this looks. This is pretty close to Painted Roses in the tube, but I've not used it, so I don't know what color it actually comes out. That's the uh, color there. So, it actually matches pretty well. It'll work. It'll work. So, yeah, that is going to be our finished look. Uh, again, you pick which one you like. This is a uh, build your own adventure tutorial. How about that? <laughs> Sorry, my hair is still wet and looks like a hot mess. Um, Hopefully you guys find this fun and you like at least one of these looks. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.